academicians, industrialists, and young researchers in the country for active discussions on various aspects of photonics and thus be beneficial to the photonics research community as a whole. On the dais, our Honorable Vice Chancellor of Cochin University of Science and Technology, Professor K. N. Madhusudanan, Professor Pramod Govinad, Chairman, International Conference on Recent Trends in Photonics and Director of the International School of Photonics, KUSAT. Dr. Mohammed Amin, Convener, International Conference on Recent Trends in Photonics and Assistant Professor of International School of Photonics, KUSAT. Let's begin the inaugural ceremony by invoking the blessings of the Almighty. Janani Vande Janakam Vande Sakala Chara Chara Natham Vande Janani Vande Janakam Vande Sakala Chara Chara Natham Vande Sadguru Charanam Satatam Vande Tatva Jnana Kiranam Vande Jnana Devati Paradevati Sadbuddhi Te Namo Stuti Sadbuddhi Te Namo Stuti Now I invite Professor Pramod Kobinath, Director, International School of Photonics, who sat for the welcome address. Honorable Vice Chancellor, invited speakers, delegates, faculty members from various departments, and my colleagues. A very good morning to you all. I'm extremely happy that the International Conference on Recent Trends in Photonics is being conducted for the second year in succession. The National Photonics Symposium, NPS, which is being regularly conducted every year in February, has a failed facelift last year and is being conducted as an international conference. Last year marked the Silver Jubilee year of establishment of International School of Photonics at Cochin University of Science and Technology. The celebrations were inaugurated by Professor Donna Strickland, Nobel laureate. Along with the conduct of International Conference on Recent Trends in Photonics, the school had organized a Silver Jubilee webinar series in which more than a dozen scientists from around the globe gave lectures. This year, we present the second edition of the International Conference on Recent Trends in Photonics to celebrate the Golden Jubilee of Cochin University of Science and Technology. The highlight of the conference being that the proceedings of the conference is going to be published by the IOP Journal of Physics conference series after peer review. As part of the Golden Jubilee celebrations, we had also co-hosted another international conference, NanoICon 2022, in association with seven departments of QSAT, coordinated by the Indo University Center for Nanomaterials and Devices in January 2022. During this event every year, the students of International School of Photonics who have excelled in academics and research are honored by various awards and prizes, like the C.V. Raman Award for the Best MSc Project, Sadish John Memorial Award for the Best MTech Project, Nalanda Award for the students getting highest GPA in the first semester of MSc program, PSC Award for Topper of MTech, Professor Leggett Award for the Topper of MSc program, Best Researcher Award for publishing research papers with highest cumulative impact factor in a calendar year. And from this year onwards, a new award has been instituted by Professor A. Mujib for the research scholar who publishes an article in a peer-reviewed journal with highest impact factor. These awards will be delivered today and some of them will be distributed at a later occasion due to the restrictions we have. Let me now move on to the pleasant duty entrusted on me. We are very much delighted to have the presence of our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Kane Madhusudanan, for inaugurating this event on the Sunday morning. Professor Madhusudanan has always been a point of strength 
and support for us. On behalf of all members of the organizing committee and the participants, I extend our hearty welcome to you, sir. The three days of deliberations will have a keynote lecture, three plenary talks, and six invited talks, along with one science day lecture and one session each by IEEE and industry, apart from contributory papers. Professor VM Murugeshin, Nanyang Technological University, will be delivering the first plenary lecture immediately after the sermon. On behalf of the organizing committee, the delegates, and on my personal behalf, let me welcome Professor Murugeshin, who is also an alumni of QSAT and a well-wisher of the school to this function. Let me welcome my colleague and convener of this conference, Dr. Mohammad Amin, to this function. We will have Professor Franz Kattner from University of Hamburg, Germany, delivering the keynote lecture. Dr. Kasuhiko Maeda from Tokyo Institute of Technology and Dr. Pablo Albella from University of Canterbury, Spain, will be delivering the other two plenary lectures. Dr. Tatiana Sisiu from Argonne National Laboratory, USA, Dr. Radhakshna Prabhu from Go Robert Gordon University, UK, Dr. Sopna Nair from Central University of Kerala, Dr. Randy Lem from Motion Imager 20, the Netherlands, Dr. Sonia Mary from the Jackson Laboratory, USA, and Dr. Madhu V from Technical University of Denmark will deliver the invited talks. Professor G. Ravindra Kumar, distinguished professor from TAFR Mumbai, will be delivering the National Science Day lecture on February 28. I am immensely happy to welcome all of them to this conference. We have more than 50 contributory papers and have more than 150 registered delegates for this event, even though it starts on a Sunday. On behalf of the organizing committee, let me welcome all of them to the conference and to the ceremony. Let me welcome all faculty members from various departments, our alumni members, our sponsors, collaborators, and other well-wishers who have joined online to this meeting. My colleagues, faculty members, research fellows, postdoctoral fellows, master students, and administrative staff have been my support in organizing this event. Let me welcome each one of them to this function. Welcoming all once again, thank you. Thank you, sir. We would like to welcome our director, Professor Pramod Gobinath also to the inaugural function. Welcome, sir. Now, I would like to invite Honorable Vice Chancellor of Cochin University of Science and Technology, Professor K. N. Madhusudanan, for inaugurating the conference by lighting the lamp and for the inaugural address thereafter. Professor Pramod Gopinath, Professor Murugeshan, my faculty colleagues, participants of this symposium, very good morning to all of you.
International Conference on Recent Trends in Photonics. This particular conference coincides with the Golden Jubilee celebration of Cochin University of Science and Technology. This is in continuation of the previous conferences under the name of National Photonics Symposium, which has been instituted very many years back. I am extremely happy to be part of this symposium and also happy to share this dais with Professor William Murugeshan, our own uh, former student and grown into the stature of a very illustrious optics researcher. This uh, photonic symposium over these years brought very eminent scientists onto our platform. This year too, it is not different. We are having very eminent uh, personalities attending this conference. And the experience we gained through this conference has really helped us enhancing our research output as well as all other academic activities. And also giving a very good learning experience for our students in the uh, developments, advanced developments in the field of optics and related areas. So in that sense, this conference, this particular conference or series of conference has been of uh, immense uh, 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 contributory factor in our university. I'm sure this year and in the coming years also, this will grow in stature and will contribute to the development of the university. School of International School of Photonics, as we know, as since uh, its inception, as the director has mentioned, uh, it has crossed 25 years. And since its uh, inception, it has been in the forefront of research and uh, other academic activities in the university. And over these years, with the contribution from eminent uh, faculty members uh, serving as well as the retired faculty members. This department has been one of the most uh, performing departments in the university, contributing to all its uh, you know, uh, uh, parameters, measurement parameters of the development. We have uh, now, we have very young and dynamic faculties with a wide range of exposure uh, among the international community. And uh, I'm sure we are on the springboard for another leap, big leap. Uh, so uh, these conferences will definitely be of uh, big help to all of us. So I'm sure this conference will provide opportunity for all of us to interact and uh, refresh, revisit our knowledge, uh, gain from the discussions at this conference. I wish you all the very best uh, with these few words. I declare this conference inaugurated. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, I invite Professor V.M. Murugeshan, Nanyang Technological University, Singapore, for felicitating the occasion. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Ken Matsudanan, the Director of uh, ISB, Professor Hamad Govinath, Professor Rami, dear colleagues, my dear students and staff, and all participants and everyone present in this conference, either physically or through online. A very good morning to you all. I'm here actually to wish all the best and uh, a very good luck to every particular in this conference. But when I was about to uh, start this uh, felicitation, uh, I actually took me about 35 years back when I was a master student at the Department of Physics at Kusat. I was one of the very many lucky students to be the students of very many grades, grades of optics, grades of theoretical physics, to name a few of them. Professor VPN Namburi, we fondly call him Namburi, sir. 
ప్రొఫెసర్ సిపి గిరిజావల్వన్ సార్ ప్రొఫెసర్ నందకుమార్ సార్ అండ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ పి రాధాకృష్ణన్ సార్ ఆన్ ద ఆప్టిక్ సైన్స్ ఆన్ ద థియరటికల్ ఫిజిక్స్ సైన్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ అవ బాబు సార్ బాబు జోసఫ్ సార్ ద లేట్ సాబిర్ సార్ కురియాకో సార్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ప్రొఫెసర్ జాకో ఫిలిప్ సార్ ఐ వాస్ యాక్చువల్లీ వెరీ లక్కీ టు బి ద స్టూడెంట్ of all these grades there are very many other professors like prof randram sir etc okay but above all that we were also very lucky to have very many intensive researchers like our current vice chancellor kusad vice chancellor they were our seniors uh, the current uh, calicut uh, university vice chancellor like that there are very many senior researchers and they were all actually our role models at that time and you know we we were actually even uh, going to their uh, places torturing them to get informations and other things they were actually our role model actually and we were able to learn something from each one of them i just want to give an example uh, i was I, actually there was a very heavy healthy competition between students at that time to get projects in laser physics okay and i was lucky to get a project uh, uh, under nambudi sir and radha krishnan sir and i was doing a double bloom line nitrogen laser project at that time and uh, in one of the nights actually the oil leaked onto the floor and i immediately called and uh, nambudi sir came running and i just could not believe he literally uh, you know was sweeping around with us the whole floor to clean it and that is a kind of learning experience uh, for us you know what is actually meant by research what is attitude what is actually the kind of devotion we are supposed to have coming about cpg sir i was attending one class and during the derivation he made a mistake actually and uh, immediately he told that it's a mistake so you know he said that if you make a mistake we are, we as a researcher as a scientist we should be able to accept our mistake so all, all great learning experience Nanda Kumar sir actually i still remember the hamiltonian and uh, lagrangian equations the timing excellent timing of lectures the preparedness and other actions sir how to prepare a lecture and you know before you really deliver the lecture we were learning a lot of such things from this this great professors and actually if many of us are actually in those batches we 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 are in different places what we are today i think we are all inducted to those grades you know we learned a lot from them the thing is that uh, at that time in the physics department uh, the laser lab was actually one of the prominent labs along with other labs and when i left and uh, you know kusa in 1990 uh, uh, to iit and uh, later i came to know that uh, the laser lab become uh, the international school of photonics if i recall correctly uh, in 1995 or 1996 we the, the students of today may not know the kind of hard work the day in and day out hard work that these grades have actually might have put to make this international school of photonics a reality i mean isp can really take a great pride of its stature today it is very well known not only in india in abroad okay so they are all getting the students are getting placements in different universities uh uh including ntu i have a phd student from isp now currently uh the the student actually i think promotes a, a student if i remember correctly and uh, she joined as a uh, as a project student a exchange project student and later she joined uh, as a phd student so in fact international school of photonics has grown to become one of the uh, flagship forefront institutes uh in india known for its excelling excellence offering excellent uh, uh, you know optics programs not just to research programs but also the uh, master programs for example in fact a very good trained manpower are generated from this school so thanks to this its founders who might have really worked very hard to make this a reality once again coming back to this conference isp has been conducting annual photonics workshop which is a national event which brings together leading scientists academicians and even industrial partners and it is very very significant that i i was very 
amazed to see that, you know, in India, Indian conference also started having very good, uh, you know, interaction of, uh, you know, scientists with industries, because we are already entering into the fourth industrial revolution. In fact, we have already taken the baby steps into it. And a very good uh, a synergy between industry and uh, the, the, the science is very, very important and significant in this context. And uh, uh, to, to really uh, understand the significance of this conference, I also uh, just heard that it is uh, in, in, in conjunction with uh, the Silver Jubilee celebrations. And it's a very, very pleasant one to really note that. And actually, uh, this annual window was conducted in the form of National Photo uh, Photonic Symposium uh, I, uh, from 2017 onwards. So I have gone through the, the, the profile of the speakers as well as the, uh, you know, the, the different uh, to topics that are going to be delivered in this talk. Uh, it is very, very clear that uh, we have a very good team of excellent uh, speakers with, from diversified, latest thrust to research areas. So it makes this conference one of the best conference. Uh, I'm very sure about it. In fact, uh, they are all from the latest thrust to research frontiers. So when we are talking about this fourth industrial revolution, we know that uh, this optics and photonics has been really taken, not just being an enabler, but it's actually already reached the forefront of this technological evolution. In fact, it has been really contributing significantly to the all 12 disruptive pillars of this fourth industrial revolution. Mm -hmm. I'm very sure that uh, this conference in this context will indeed make the real platform for this aspiring students, researchers, as well as we faculties, teachers, uh, as a platform to really take this to the next level. It is quite evident that the whole organizing team has worked very hard during this pandemic to make this conference a great success, and it is highly appreciated. Finally, once again, I would like to wish everyone present here to have a memorable time during this conference, and I wish you all a successful conference. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Next, we are moving on to the release of the Photonics News, the annual Photonics magazine comprising of the academic events and achievements of the department. I invite Honorable Vice Chancellor of CUSAD, Professor Dr. K. N. Madhusudanan to release the magazine. I also invite Professor Pramod Gobinath to receive the scene. Thank you, sir. Next, we are moving on to the release of the proceedings of the National Photonics Symposium. I invite Honorable Vice Chancellor to release the proceedings. I also invite Dr. Praveen C.S., Assistant Professor, International School of Photonics, to receive the same. Next, we are moving on to the release of the book of abstracts of this year international conference. I once again invite Honorable Vice Chancellor to release the proceedings. I also invite Dr. Mohammad Amin, Assistant Professor, International School of Photonics to receive the same. Thank you, sir. Now we move on to the award distribution function. 
Since we are hosting the conference on an online platform, and except for the best researcher award, the award-winning students are not present here physically, we would like to display the awards on the screen as a mark of appreciation to the winners. Arrangements will be made for the winners to come and collect the awards and certificates from the department later at their convenient time. Now I invite Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor K. N. Madhusudanan to hand over the awards. The first award is the best researcher award. We have two awards in this category. The first award is given by the to the research scholar with highest cumulative journal impact factor by considering his or her publications during the complete year. This award is instituted by Professor P. Radha Krishnan, former director of the department. The second award in the category will be given to the research scholar with a single peer reviewed research paper with the high impact factor. The award is instituted by Professor A. Mujib, International School of Photonics. This year, both the awards in this category are backed by Ms. Fatima R. I invite Fatima to receive the award. Congratulations, Fatima. We now have the Nalanta Endowment Prize. The Nalanta Endowment Prize is given to the student who secures ISGPA for the first semester of MSc Photonics. The award is instituted by former Professor N.G. Devagi, Department of Hindi, Kusat. Nalanta Endowment Prize goes to Ms. Hiba. Next is the Professor Legit Award. This award is given to the student who secures ISCGPA in MSc program in photonics. The award was instituted by Professor Anthony Leggett, who was a theoretical physicist and whose pioneering work on superfluidity was recognized by the 2003 Nobel Prize in Physics. And the Professor Leggett Award goes to Mr. Asapana Radish. Next is the C.V. Raman Award. This award is given for the best thesis presented in the 10th semester of the MSc program in photonics and is instituted by Professor VPN Namburi, former director and one of the founding pillars of the award. C.V. Raman Award goes to Ms. Saishirya V. Nair and Mr. Riswan Asif. Next is a Photonics Society of India Award. This award, instituted by Professor C.P. Girija Vallabhan, is given on the behalf of Photonic Society of India to the student who secured ISCGPA in MTech. Photonic Society of India Award goes to Ms. Chantini Chandran. And the last award is the Satish John Memorial Award. This award is given for the best thesis presented as a part of the MTech program. The award was instituted in the memory of late Mr. Sadish John, who was an MTech student of our department by his classmates. Sadish John Memorial Award goes to Ahmad Lafif. Congratulations to the awardees and best wishes for your future endeavors on behalf of all ISPNs. I would also like to thank Honorable Vice Chancellor for distributing the awards. Now, I would like to invite Professor Pramod Gobinath to present a token of love and gratitude to Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor K. N. Madhusudanan. Thank you, sir. Let me now invite Dr. Am Mohammed Amin, Assistant Professor, International School of Photonics. Kusat, the convener of the International Conference on Recent Trends in Photonics, NPS 2022, for concluding the inaugural session. Good morning to all of you. Uh, it's my pleasure to express a vote of thanks on behalf of the organizing committee. Uh, to each and every one present in this event and also those uh, who worked hard and involved in the organization 
and the conduct of uh, this international conference on recent trends in photonics. Uh, first of all, I would like to express our immense gratitude to Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Ken Matsudaran, sir, for accepting our invitation and also coming over here to inaugurate uh, this conference. We are also we are also thankful to all the support uh, from your side, sir. Uh, uh, as uh, previous uh, speakers have mentioned, this year we have a very rich uh, list of invited speakers. Uh, I would like to thank all the invited speakers for accepting our invitation and uh, uh, being part of this, uh, this conference. I thank the members of uh, our technical committee for being part of this uh, conference. I also thank Professor uh, VM uh, Mutigation for uh, felic felicitations. Uh, uh, coming to the organization of the conference, I would like to mention first uh, Professor Pramod Gobinath, our director, uh, International School of Photonics, uh, and the chairman of this conference. Uh, let us thank him for uh, his wonderful leadership and uh, supervision in organizing the, and uh, conducting uh, this, this event. Next, uh, I would like to mention the role of the faculty members, the collective effort of all of us, all, all my colleagues, uh, in coordinating different tasks in organizing this uh, event made this possible. Thanks to all of you. Uh, special thanks to our PhD scholars and the master students who are involved in the, in the organization of the conference. Uh, many of you were uh, much uh, more experienced than most of, uh, most of uh, us, the faculty members. And it is uh, your hard work and cooperation that made uh, a, a, an event like this a reality. Thanks to all of you. Uh, I would like to mention our administrative staff for uh, your support. I also thank the university and our sponsors for the financial and the technical supports. Uh, at last, uh, uh, I thank all the participants of the conference for being part of this event. I also would like to mention the postdoctoral fellows at the, at the Institute. Uh, thanking all of you once again, uh, uh, each and everyone present in this event. I would like to wind up this uh, vote of thanks. Thank you, sir. I once again thank all of you for being part of the inaugural ceremony. Now we will begin the first session of the conference very shortly. The conference shall begin at 10 o'clock. Okay. Thank you, Murugeshan. See you sometime. Yeah, thank you. Th thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mirgation. Yeah, thank you, thank you.